Nimrod the Red. Yeah. You are Nimrod. Yeah, I'm Nimrod. Which I about buying it. You want, you want Nimrod? Yeah. Yeah, I'm right. So I guess we get, well, which one? This ship will be the precursor for a lot more vessels like it. So from very, very small to much larger, using different levels of autonomy, both with manned vessels, with unmanned vessels, on fully autonomous vessels, and sort of drive the cost down to safely put things to sea, including people, um, such that we can really focus on what's uniquely human, which is asking all the right questions and making sense of all this information, the data, and then the information we get from the from vessels like this and our manned vessels. So that's where people should focus. I want to make it easier to get all that data. I think you'll start seeing it in short hauls, you know, water taxis and ferries where you can reduce the crew and increase the safety and maybe get to a point in a few years where they're just fully autonomous systems. Large cargo vessels, I'm not sure if the cost proposition is there, but I think in the military you're going to see more and more of it as well because they want to take people out of the battle. But um, I think the, the biggest uptake will be on manned vessels actually in the near future. We really need a huge amount of data to be able to actually understand what's going on uh, with, with the world's oceans uh, and that's, that's so important and, and using just traditional methods alone isn't going to allow us to actually really scale up how we do that. So, so together those traditional methods and the more um, recent innovations are really going to help enable us and give our scientists the information they need to really do those important um, tasks of, around research and scientific breakthrough here. If you're not measuring and you're not collecting data, you, you don't know what's going on. If we didn't, we weren't measuring air temperature, uh, we wouldn't know that you know uh, there's there's been an increase in, in global temperatures. So you have to have data to be able to actually understand and recognise and start to uh, adapt and change and influence some of the things that we actually currently do uh, in the ocean. You know, we need for the future to have sustainable ways of, of managing and, and using our oceans, uh, and, and data is a vital part of enabling us to do that.